Hi friends, today we're gonna to talk about the Buzzword-a-thon. Today, we will be retroactively checking to see if I was able to complete the Buzzword-a-thon that is hosted by Kayla over at Books and Lala, which I will link down below because you don't need to know who she is because you already know, otherwise you wouldn't be here because like, you know what I'm saying? Like, giant booktuber versus baby booktuber. Okay, anyway, if you don't know for some reason, the Buzzwordathon is a year long reading challenge where you were given a different prompt for every month. You can either read all of the books like in one week, you know, like a readathon setting, or you try to read the book in that month or just sometime during the year, or there, there's not really any hard and fast rules about like when you have to read the book specifically, but the challenge is to try to read the books. And for me, it's more fun to like at the end of the year, go back and go, I wasn't trying, did I reach any? So I'm going to, I already did, but we're going to go through them together, um, the list of what the challenges were and if I read any books that completed that challenge. And at the end, we'll see if I was able to read any of the books that were challenged for without trying. January's challenge is to read a book with who, what, where, when, why in the title. And this year I actually read When Sparks Fly by Helena Hunting. When? Dot January down. February was a book with a pronoun in the title. I for sure know that I read Delilah the Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake, so that one is covered. March is a book with a location in the title, and I know that I read Bird and Falls by Kat Ellis. Done. April is a book with little or big in the title. So words like little or similar words like small, tiny, petite words like big, like large, giant, etc. And I read A Garden of Small Beginnings by Abby Waxman. So got that one covered too. May is a book with a direction in the title and I read The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. June is a book with the word all in the title Technically, so far this year, I have not read a book with all in the title, uh, but I do have a book with all in the title on my TBR for December. So hopefully by the time you're watching this, I've already read that book. But um, I'm just going to count this one, even though it's not really counted yet. The book on my TBR is All Our Hidden Gifts. I can't remember her first name, but the last name is O'Donohue, I think. It's one of the ones I just bought in October when I was on vacation. Okay. July is a book with a book related word in the title and I read The Plot this year and that's by Jean Hanf Curlitz, I believe. August is a book with an item in the title and for that I picked a semi-definitive list of worst nightmares because the semi-definitive list of worst nightmares is a item that is actually in the book. And that book's by Crystal Sutherland. September is a book with light or dark or something similar in the title and I read A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham. October is a book with either an animal or a creature in the title and I read Bracken Beast by Kate Alice Marshall. Bracken Beast is one of the beasts in the book. November is a book with ing or ing in the title and I read These Fleeting Shadows also by Kate Alice Marshall. And December is a book with a number in the title and I read the 13s also by Kate Alice Marshall. That's all 12 months. So technically, if I had read All Our Hidden Gifts at the beginning of the month for the Reindeer Readathon, I would have completed all of these prompts. I haven't read it yet because I was picking up the longer books at the beginning to try to get through those before I got into some of the shorter ones. But I do plan to read that book by the end of the month. So if I do read that book by the end of the month, then I will be complete. I don't know yet what the words are for the Buzzwordathon for 2023. Uh, I may try to do some different things next year with the challenge depending on what the words are and what I can pull together. Um, but I do plan on doing like some reading challenge videos or some vlogs or something. I keep saying I'm going to give up vlogging because I'm really bad at it but then I'm like but I want to do vlogs. So we're just going to have to sit through really bad vlogs together next year I think is what we're going to do. Okay, that's gonna be it for me today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple times a week. If you don't wanna miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.